Hello, how's it going? Logan here, also known as Hollows Woodsman on social media. I've just completed the Creating a First Person Aim Trainer course that was released this month, uh, November 2021. It's November 5th, 2021, as of this recording. It's a fantastic course, and I do recommend everybody who is interested in developing games and uh, creating your own blueprints and getting started with visual scripting to take this course and all the prerequisites leading up to this course, as it is a wonderful series. There are a few things that should be noted. When we arrive after the first quiz, everything is going great. And then we start to learn about creating a function library. Okay. Now, I've got these images ready to show you so we don't have to look for them. In this video, at around 152, you will see that this folder, Libraries, along with this blueprint, BPFL underscore traces, is missing. Okay, They do not talk about creating this folder, nor do they talk about creating this BPFO, which is actually a blueprint function library. I am going to uh, give you the cheat codes so that we know uh, in the next video you'll get to 1155 okay and that video is using macro libraries at, uh, no sorry uh, using macro libraries is when you will see this this is when you'll see libraries BP FL traces and you will not have that in your project okay then you're gonna go and watch the next one creating a parent and this is a pretty big video this might even be the biggest video and some of the most core functionality of the course is in this video once you arrive blueprints so excuse me I'm gonna mute that once you arrive at this section here you'll be going inside you, you'll be creating a weapon base then you're going to be creating a child of the weapon which is an assault rifle and you'll be creating a shotgun all good fun uh, really cool stuff uh, so we're going to go in here and we are going to be calling event weapon trace which is going to be uh, then from here you know we're tracing off of the weapon makes sense right and that's being this this function as you will find out is the uh, child that's created inside of the weapon base so uh, event weapon trace being called because it's inside a weapon base we're a child of weapon base so we have access to it so now we're doing our tracing because each gun will be tracing differently a shotgun traces much differently than an assault rifle okay they're gonna go in here and call camera trace and that happens so fast you're not gonna know what to do okay you're gonna go and try and call camera trace and you won't have anything and if you look then you'll see class BPFL traces and then you will scour your project and realize I don't have that then if you have a keen eye You'll remember at 152 of a previous video where there was a screenshot of an image of libraries and this word BPFL underscore traces. And I was disheartened because I didn't know how he built that. And that has several, uh, several important nuances inside of blueprint function libraries. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So they've made a new folder, library, and you'll be making this um, blueprint um, macro library and you'll be creating a comparison in in comparison and I'll leave that to him he's a good great instructor so this BPFL traces 
I am going to um, leave this up here for you to copy if you like and we can rebuild it so that you understand how it's built and I'll just build it from below you know I'm gonna put that over here let's try from scratch okay so pretend this doesn't exist I'm gonna right click blueprints blueprint function library call that bpfl underscore traces tutorial and open up traces tutorial bring it over here in front of you we have a new function let's call this traces camera trace tutorial search for if I could spell sphere trace by channel pull that over here so we have some room to work with I'm going to then get get camera manager get player camera manager and from here we are going to want to call the world location get world location transform component that's important make sure you're getting world location on the transform component pull off of return value again I'm going to type in here get forward vector transform component so because these are the same we can delete that and then we can just move this down here and now we have the world location and the forward vector of the player camera okay from here what you're going to need to do <coughs> the start of the trace is going to be the world location moving that over the end of the trace I'm gonna multiply I'm gonna pull off here so this is uh, I'm gonna grab a multiply I'm going to get a vector which is what the forward vector is like the name says and I'm gonna multiply that by a float you're gonna see that that float is actually I'm going to go into my camera trace function and then add an input and this is going to call be called my distance so how f a little hiccup I had a crash there so as I was saying we've got our camera trace tutorial function inside of our library our blueprint function library and then I am going to create a new input and call that input distance We'll change that to be a float and then that distance is going to be multiplied by my forward vector and that is going to be how far that I'm going to uh, be looking or shooting or tracing rather okay then I'm going to take my world location and I'm going to add that I'm going to add vector plus vector and I'm going to add my, my uh, forward vector multiplied by the distance to my world location and that will give me my end location okay now if that is uh, somewhat confusing for you just take a minute to uh, copy that out then okay so one more time what I'm going to do is we have our function that we've created I'm going to name it camera trace tutorial I already have one called camera trace I'm going to create an input on that called distance I'm going to then right click create get player manager pull off of there get the transform component from the transform component of the camera I'll be getting the world location and the forward vector I'm taking my forward vector multiplying it by the distance and then adding that to my world location to get the length of the sphere trace I'm taking the radius of the sphere how big is the sphere trace and I'm going to drag it into this empty space of the camera trace tutorial function that will then create the same name radius radius in here and give me another input okay I'm going to then decide what type of uh, draw debugging am I doing uh, one frame duration is persistent 
how do you want to do it? It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. I, I might want access to that. So I'm going to drag that off and hold it under this blank space. Add to pin. Now I have access to that. Okay. So effectively get the camera of the world, you know, player camera, get the location, forward vector, how far are we shooting? Okay. When we have finished, we want to grab our return node, which means we're done. Okay, we're finished executing the function, and we are going to give off our out hit. Okay, so that is the entire camera trace. Three inputs, one output. Distance is a float, radius is a float, draw, dug, draw debug type is an enumerator, enumerator of draw debug. And our outputs is our out hit, which is a type hit result. So effectively, we can now call camera trace tutorial, and we're going to get a sphere trace. What do we do with this? Compile, save, okay, get rid of it. When I'm going back into uh, where this was called, where we're using it is inside of our weapons, inside of our assault rifle. I should bring it over from my other screen. So you will be doing this section, weapon trace, and event weapon trace. This is inherited from our BP weapon base was made earlier in the course. I'm going to create the event weapon base, call camera trace, or we can also call what I just made camera trace tutorial. And you'll see that you'll see you'll then now have a BP function library, and you can call the camera trace. Once I've called that on the out hit. Okay, so let's try it with ours camera trace tutorial. It's, uh, this is not going to be used for anything, right? This is just to show you. Camera trace tutorial. I am going to then pull off here. Sorry, pull off here. Pull off of out hit, break hit result, twirl down, and then it is the impact point that I'm looking for. For the impact point of that sphere trace, and that is going to be uh, leading into the next part of the course where you are using a secondary sphere trace uh, to find the exact impact point. Now, I'm not going to go over all that and, and it gets into the point system and how to tally points and everything like that. The point is, you will now be able to go over that because you will have your camera trace blueprint function library function available to you okay I hope that this helps and the reason that I was able to um, actually find this is I kept going uh, it broke you know he shows off he shows it off hey guys okay we've done it you know everything's working woohoo it's fun um, it didn't work for me and I was upset that's too bad so I carried on Right, we made the uh, we added the weapon, went on to making the shotgun, and that is when you will discover when he is making the shotgun that you are copying code from the blueprint uh, uh, assault rifle weapon, and that's when he clicks on camera trace, and then he clicks inside of it right here, he clicks in, and boom! I was like, I'm I'm in. That's all I needed. Okay, so once I go to look at that, I just this is where he copies this, and then I realize, okay, I can rebuild that, um, and then uh, just kind of self reverse engineered, self taught. I guess a blueprint function library would be where you create functions inside of a blueprint that all the blueprint does is call functions. Okay, um, I would love for Epic to update the course and add the uh, the video where the instructor builds the camera trace uh, just right after the quiz number one would fit perfectly uh, and if you're watching this thank you very much and i hope that you enjoy this course 
uh, as much as I did. Um, fully five star review for me. Uh, just I'm gonna add this YouTube link to anyone that might stumble across this and gets frustrated at the point. Bye now.